Batiste dry shampoo and this is the original um, zest of freshness originally I bought this because I was using crochet braids and it was like to take away the shine for the crochet braids and I was like you know if I don't get to wash my hair in time I would use this to like freshen up my hair the thing is that this shouldn't be touching your scalp I'll explain why while I'm reviewing this there are some other things so before we get into that please hit the subscribe button or chicken you know chicka chicka subscribe then chicka the bell chicka all okay this product is a dry shampoo and you're supposed to use this to refresh and up your hair in between washes if it is you don't get to wash your hair or it could even help with styling depending on the type of style you want to do this could help with the style because you don't necessarily want freshly washed hair each time for certain styles for it to come out the way that you want it to i need to wash my hair so this way i could demonstrate to you so you want to hold it like this way i'm just going to let that sit a bit i noticed when i was using my crochet braids is this white film oh my god ah! So I would fluff it out on the crochet rays and like work it through and yes it wouldn't look as shiny but it still left this weird film. Now mind you that is not human hair when I'm using crochet braids. It's synthetic hair. I tested it when I had the crochet braids on my hair. That was a no-no because it more hit my scalp and the thing is this is meant to take away buildup. So when you have, I think no matter what kind of hair you have, for c one a um, it's going to do the same thing. You'll find like you have this gunk on your roots that it wasn't seen before. That's how well it works. It will take that stuff from your roots and you'll have like a gunky weird feeling on your roots. So you don't want that on your roots, please. Take it from me. I had crochet braids at the time and it got on my roots. I didn't intend for it to go there. It was not nice. It was uncomfortable and it's like you scratch and you see gunk on the knees. And with this, oof. Take the hands and kind of fluff it in like that. Okay. Now I have 4C here. I don't have too much product on my hair right now. I really go light when it comes to my products. But I think this is not really geared towards 4C hair. It's not hydrating, so I don't know if they have a hydrating one because this is the only one I could find. I would say try to get one that's more hydrating. I just feel as though it, it feels like it's slightly drying out the hair. Butane, isobutane, propane, oza sativa, starch, alcohol donut, perfume, limonene, this stereo look what? <laughs> I would say that it really good to freshen up the hair, maybe give it a nice smell or something. Depending on how much products you're using on your hair, you, it would really feel as though this is not doing anything for it. And you have to be very careful. I find that when it is I had used it and it was really close to my scalp. The only thing is like when it really touched the hair that was close to my scalp and I took down my cornrows. I noticed that that area was tangling. Like to see, to see the people with more straighter hair, they would love that. But with the 4C hair, 4B hair, not necessarily your, your bestest friend. I would say that if it is your one, this may be because you want to freshen up the smell. I'm not wowed by it. And overall, For crochet braids, the actual extensions, maybe for like wigs and things like that that look kind of shiny because of the white coating, it could give it a more realistic effect and kind of hide the shine if you don't get to brush all the whiteness out. Personally, I don't like the kind of papery feeling I'm getting right now and it feels kind of dry. 
like all these sections where it's a little bit really dry. All the other sections that can get it, I can feel the difference. They're moist, still have some oils, but for me personally, with my 4C hair that really loves moisture and don't like feeling stripped, I don't, it's, it's not my favorite product. No, a little too dry for my taste. That's it for now and I will see you all in the next one. But as I said, I use it different ways and now you know how you could use it too. Bye.